So some of you have been having some issues connecting your NN to your OpenAI API platform. So in this video, I'm going to do a step-by-step -step guide on how to sign up on OpenAI API platform, how to get the API keys, and how to connect it to your NN agent so that you could run your multitude of workflows and power up your automation. So the first thing you want to do is to head over to platform.openai.com, and you see this page. And what you'll do is uh, you'll sign up here. And you could, there are a few ways to sign up. You can use your Google account, which is the easiest, or the other accounts as well. But in this case, I'm going to sign up with my email. Again, this is just a neat little trick so that OpenAI sees it as a different account, but I'm sending it to the same email. And I'm um, just going to auto generate a password here. So this is just a simple account creation. And you're going to get a security code OTP sent to you in your email. So just go over and check your email. So this is the security code. You're going to copy and paste that. Okay, and the full name and just your details here. And wait for it to load up. Uh, it's going to ask you a couple of questions. Uh, organization name, you can just keep that as personal. What best describes you? Keep that as non technical. And create organization. The second step to that, it's going to ask you to invite your team at this point. You don't have to do that, so I'll invite my team later. And of course, you know, in terms of the API key, this is so suggesting for you to create your first API key and you can keep it as my test key like that. So everything is as per the default field and click on generate API key. And there you go. That is your first API key. And again, these are secret keys, which you want to keep safe. You don't want to share that publicly because that's when people can actually make API calls to your OpenAI account. So now we're going to head back to your NADN workflow. And I'm going to add a trigger node here. And then I'm going to add either AI agent or an open AI messaging agent, whichever one that requires an open AI chat model. So in this case, I'm going to add a chat model, specify open AI, right? So and the credentials, I'm going to create new credential. And again, API key, I'm going to copy from what we have here and just paste it here. You can leave the organizational ID blank and just a little and click save. And there you go. So it's a green bar saying connection tested successfully. So you're now connected. All right, so you can then so you can see, pick the model, whichever GPT model that you want to work with, in this case, or many. And um, yeah, uh, for the AI agent, you need, you'll need to add the simple memory to make sure that it understands context. But otherwise, you can start testing, say hello. And so you can see the AI agent has successfully called the OpenAI chat model. And so you're connected. And just a couple more things. After you're done setting up the API keys, it's going to ask if you want to top up uh, the API credits at this point. It is fine because it lets you use you know, the API key to a certain limit. So I'm just going to click on I'll buy credits later. But as you scale and as you do a lot more workflows, you're going to need to uh, top up the credits as you go to in order to use those API keys. So as you notice, you're, you're back on the same page. So in order to see your existing API keys, information on usage and stuff like that, you want to go back to you want to go to the dashboard and, and all the options are here. right? So you can check your usage from this page here. And you can also view your API keys, in this case, my test key. You can delete your API keys here, or you can revoke the key and create new secret keys as well. All right, so hope that was helpful. Let me know if there are uh, any other setups that you know, are confusing you and you'd like me to do a video on. And if you like the content, please consider subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one.